Hi, just to let you know, this video was recorded during the summer. So as you can see, it says 1.5 angle relationship. It's supposed to be 3.1. So this lesson, this video lesson is for lesson 3.1. Angles and the objective is, how do we identify and use special angle pairs as perpendicular lines to solve problems? Okay, so let me just extend this. All right, so special angle pairs. We're going to learn a few of the angle, special angle pairs. First one, adjacent angle. You hear the word adjacent. Adjacent means next to. So you have the description, it shares a vertex and a side, and they, they do not overlap. It's just like if you have a room adjacent, let's say a bathroom adjacent to a bedroom. They share the same wall, but they're not overlapping each other. You're not going to have a piece of the bathroom in the bedroom. So a diagram, as you can see, shows two angles, the red angle one and angle two. They're sharing this common vertex. B, they're not overlapping, and they're next to each other. An example, the name, for example, the, to name it is angle A, B, D is N, A, and D, B, C are adjacent angles. Next, we have vertical angles. Vertical angles, basically when you have two lines intersecting each other, they create that bow tie look, they're called vertical angles. They're opposite angles formed by intersecting lines. So vertical angles are, the opposite angles are congruent to each other and they're not adjacent. That means they're not next to each other. They're opposite. So there's a picture of two lines intersecting and creating a vertical angle. So you notice that the blue angles are congruent to each other and the green angles are also congruent to each other. So they're opposite each other, so they're congruent. And then to write it, you would have angle ABE and CBD are vertical angles, and so is angle ABD and CBE are vertical angles. So next, oh, we have linear pair. Linear, you hear the word line, linear, line. So basically, two adjacent angles, that's two adjacent angles, that together form a straight line. The non-adjacent sides form opposite rays. So we learned about that in a previous lesson. And the sum of the, the line, a linear pair, gives you 180 degrees. So as you can see in the picture, we have the green angle and the blue angle. Then linear pair, pair means you got two in a pair. And then they create this line, AOC which is 180 degrees, so this angle, green, and the blue will give you 180 degrees. So as shown, AOB and BOC equals 180. Next thing we have, angles on a line. It's like linear pair, but there's more than two angles. So more, two or more adjacent angles that together form a straight line, and the sum is 180 degrees. And in this picture, you've got three angles, the blue, red, and green. There's three of them. Put them together, they add up to 180. Again, if you got all these angles to create that line, it's 180. So this plus this plus this equals 180. And the last is angle around a point. So it's just as it says. You've got a point, and you have angles going around it. And the description is two or more adjacent angles that share a vertex, but do not form a straight line. The sum is 360 degrees. So when you go around something, think of a circle, think of 360. As you can see, you've got the red angle, the green, the blue, and the purple. There are four angles around this point, O, and they create a sum of 360 degrees. So Recap, you have adjacent angles, they're next to each other, vertical angles, there are opposite angles, they're adjacent and they're congruent, the vertical angles, linear pair, 
create a line to two angles, create 180 degrees. Angles on a line, two or more angles, which create an the sum of 180. And angles around a point, they're adjacent to each other. They go around a point, they create a, hundred, a sum of 100, I mean 100, 360 degrees. So we have an example, we have a diagram, and they ask me questions based on the diagram. So it's the same pair of obtuse vertical angles. So we got two things, obtuse, obtuse means greater than 90, and vertical angle, that means opposite angle, that are greater than 190, I mean, greater than 90 degrees. So we have this, and if we add these two, this will give you 115. So let me just specify so these two gives you 115 when you add it. So they're up to say greater than 90. So therefore, we have angle FKG and angle JKFH. The name two acute adjacent angles. So adjacent means next to. Acute means less than 90. So we got a Q50 and 65 are next to each other and they're in less than 90. So therefore, we have these two angles as adjacent. We also have these two also, 65 and 50. And then these are acute, 65 and 65. So we got three pairs of adjacent, two, two acute adjacent angles. Next, there's name two angles that form a linear pair. Linear, think of line, line equals 180. So we have these two angles. We have these two angles. Let's see what else we have. We have, I think we could cat, yeah, add J, K, H, and G, K, H. And there we go. And also the same thing with this. You can have these two with this. And you can have these with that, so we have two angles that form a linear pair. Name two acute vertical angles. Vertical means opposite. We already named one of them, which was obtuse. So we have FKJ, and then we have GKH. They're acute, the smaller ones, which is less than 90. So, more special angle pairs, supplementary and complementary. What does that mean? So, complementary is two, angle, two angles whose measure have a sum of 90. So, we have an example. We've got angle 1 and 2. You put them together, they give you 90. And the name of, and you have angle 1 and angle 2, which are complementary angles. And then when you have them separate, if they add up to 90, then they're complementary. And then how you label the angles PQR and Q, um, XYZ. So the both two angles have to add up to 90. You cannot add up to 89 or 91, 91 is a bit too big. It has to be exactly 90 for it to be complementary angles. Supplementary is two angles whose measure have a sum of 180. So that means you have two angles sharing a common vertex and a create a line, which is 180. So these two angles add up to 180. And then you have the label for them. And then another example, if they're separated, in order for them to be supplementary, they have to add up to 180. This one's 80, 100, add them together, gives you 180. So you got angle M and angle N, which are supplementary angles. So remember, complementary angles have to add up to one to 90, and then supplementary, 180. How do I remember this? Well, let's see. Let's think of supplements. When you your nutrition is not great and you need a supplementary diet, you have like vitamins, supplements, you need more. Of that. Let's say you're missing your vitamin D deficiency, vitamin B deficiency. You need to get supplements, have supplements in order 
to accommodate for what's missing in your nutri uh, when it comes to your nutrition. So supplements, you have to add more. Supplementary, bigger than 90. It would be 180. So that's one way of thinking about it. All right, so let's do examples. So the first one, it says find a measure of an angle and its complement if one angle measures 18 more than the other angle. All right, that sounds like we got to translate stuff. So find the measure of an angle and its complement. So we know if one angle measures 18 more than the other angle. We don't know what the other angle is, so we're going to label it. So I'm going to put um, angle one, the first one, is equal to x. We don't know what it is. Angle two, that other angle is 18 more than the other angle. So that means eight, I mean, x plus 18. And we see complement. Complement means 90, complementary. So then we add those two and equal it to 90. We continue to solve. Subtract 18 on both sides. And then we get 80 and 72. So this, subtract, um, yeah, not subtract, divide. Two on both sides. Um, 36. So the final measure of angle and its complement. So then we found one of them. I want to change the color red. So we found one of them, which is 36 degrees. And then for the other one, we add 18 to the 36 to give you 54 degrees. And there you have it. You're going to have problems like that. So again, you have to read it first, see which what's missing, Try to translate and look for keywords like complement 90. You know, you have two angles. It's going to be two angles that you have to add up to, to each other. And you have to figure out which, how to set up the, um, the equation. Let's go on to the next one. It says a supplement of an angle, which is that's going to be 180. Uh, let me choose the color. Supplement 180 of an angle. You're going to have two of them. So I'm going to put angle one, angle two. So an angle has a measure of 78 less than the measure of the angle. We don't know what the first angle is. We know that the second one is 78 less than the measure of the angle. So x minus 78. And then we just set it up to 180. That's 2x minus 78 equals 180. We add 78 on both sides. Let me make sure that I have that right. And then divide it by 2. So for that one, we're going to have 129 one of the angles, um, 129 degrees, and then for this one, 129 minus 78 will give us 51 degrees. There you go. I just want to check something back here. Okay, so basically, oops, if you get the gist of it, you can move on to the next section of this lesson. If you still need more practice, need to see what's going on, just stick around. So it says the measure, find the measure of two complementary angles. So complementary, you got 90. If the difference in their measures is 12. Okay. So for this one, we got two complementary angles. If the difference in the measure is 12. So in order to set this up, 
We know that we have 90. We're looking for angle one and you have angle two. And the difference between them is 12. So we know it's subtraction and the difference between them is 12. So one of them is going to be X and the other one is going to be 90 minus X. Because let's say if one of your angles is 40, how do you find the other one? 90 minus 40 to get to 50. So actually, let me erase that and I'll put it down there. So we have I'll put this in parentheses. So we have 90 minus x minus x equals 12. Pull that out. Combine like terms. And then I'm going to subtract 90 on both sides. This would be negative 2x. And then I'm going to have 90 go to negative 78 and then divide by 2, negative 2, be careful with that, and then we should get 39 for one of them. Um, I'll use Rick. 39 degrees and then for this one we do 90 minus 39 and then we should get 51 for this. This one is a bit tricky, but if you were to draw a picture of this to understand, so we know that complement means 90, and let's say we got two angles. Just like the other problems we did, we know that this is going to be x, but if we know that this is 90, in order to know what this is, it would be 90 minus x, like I said in the beginning. And then whatever they tell you that it's set equal to, then it just solves. Because if you have these two, this will give you 90. So a lot of problem, more problems would be a bit tricky, but it's just reading it, breaking it down, and try to understand it. All right, this one, same thing. Find the measure of two complementary angles. Complementary means 90. The difference in the measures is 24. Same thing that we did for the other one. We know that one of them is going to be x, and the other one is going to be 90 minus x. Then we set it equal to 24. And difference means subtract. So 90x, and then this is minus x equals 24, 90, 2x. 24. Subtract 90 on both sides. We got a negative. This one will be a negative 66. And then subtract, I mean subtract, divide, divide, and that should be a 33 for that one. Um, 33 degrees, and then you plug it in, and then you should get. 57 degrees. All right. So that's the portion for setting up equations when I deal with complementary and supplementary. So now we have properties of perpendicular lines. Perpendicular. When you have perpendicular lines, you have two lines that cross each other, intersect each other, and create a 90 degree angle. So it says an intersect to form a right angle, and two, it forms congruent adjacent angles. So you know that a line, if you have two angles that are 90 and 90, 90 and 90 equals 180. 180 is a line. So to solve, now we need to solve for x and y so that AD, line AD and the line BE are perpendicular. And that symbol is called a perpendicular symbol. If 
Let's take it upside down T. So now, let me move all of this out of the way. We're going to solve to find out what X and Y is. So Y it looks like this is, they said that this line and this line is perpendicular. Well, we have to show that it's perpendicular. So we need to see if it works out. So if we have these two and these two, they're both different variables. So let's work on one or the other. This one, we're going to set it equal to 90. And we're going to solve. Um, oops, what did I do? I need to subtract. So I add 10 on both sides. That gives me 100. Okay, and then y, ugh, I'll put it over here. y equals, we're going to have to have 12 by like that. I'm just going to put 8 point. 8.3, I'm going to put y equals 8 and a third for this. And then for the x, I'm going to have 6x plus 3x equals 90. And then this will give me 9x and 90. Yeah. Divide by 9. And then x equals 10. And let me box that up. Ah! Alright. So let's move this out of the way. And that's our answer. Yeah, this is weird because it has that um, the decimal, even decimal. But it is the correct answer. You could have it at 8.3 repeated, or I have 8 and a third. And the x is 10. So then this tells you this is the answer that you need for the variable in order to make this 90 degrees. And then that means it's perpendicular. All right, so we have a few examples. This one, they want you to find x and y so that n line nr and mq are perpendicular. We have that symbol here. Great, tell you that it's perpendicular, so we're going to do the work. So then let's do 9y plus 18 equals 90. Subtract 18 from both sides. Uh, yeah. And then we get 72. Divide 9, and then we should get y equals 8. And then for uh, x, we got 5x plus x equals 90, 6x equals 90, divide that, and then we should get 15 for x, let me just box that, that's what they're asking us for, and then let's move this. And then they want us to find angle MS, MSN, msn.com, msn, 90 degrees. No work needed. If you have that little symbol, that tells you it's 90 degrees. All right, next one. Seems to be a lot of angles. Let's see what's going on. They're saying that EBF, angle EBF, is 3x plus 10, and V. D E is X. And if D B is N D B is perpendicular to B F. So D B and D F. So this means this is a 90 degree angle. So then now I set it equal, I add it up and set it equal to 90. Let me do that on the side. So 3x plus 10 plus X equals 90. Is me 4x plus 10 equals 90. Subtract 10 on both sides, equal 80, divide by 4, gives me 20. So I found x. x is 20. Now, the next one, if 
degree angles are congruent. 